welcome to another Duran Rider Q&A. Back in Australia today, back in the Gold Coast, lovely and rainy outside. Still having a great time. Debunking more weight loss myths. Carbs make you fat. Let's find out the truth why people are getting fat from carbohydrates. First question of the day. Hi Harley, will you please share how your body responds differently to carbs in fruit, say the 10,000 calories a day, and the carbs of processed food, say five, ten thousand calories of processed carbs. Processed carbs pack on the pounds, Doritos, etc. That's what intrigues me. What is it about the fruit versus processed junk? Thanks very much for any reply. You're very helpful and encouraging. Well, thanks for that. That's a good question. It's a common question because people go, well, I'm eating a lot of carbohydrates and I'm getting really fat over the last five years or ten years or whatever. We're not going to talk about the, the people who change their diet and they get the one month, two month, or one year, two year fluctuations. We'll cover that in another video. Be sure on that. Today's video is about the people that say carbohydrates make you fat. You know, all the obese people that meet you in the supermarket and go, well, wow, that's a lot of bananas, or what are you going to do with all that rice? You're going to eat all that? Carbs make you fat. Brown rice makes you fat. Bananas make you fat. Potatoes make you fat. We're going to debunk that myth when the 400-pound person tells you next time that your bananas or your, your vegan steamed rice McDougal dish is making you fat. When people say McDougal program makes you fat, we're going to explain why they got it wrong. Why they're actually lying or they're just a bit, bit confused. Okay, let's get to it. So we have a great little program here called Chronometer. Great little app there, free, check it out on the internet, Chronometer. So now we have 10,000 calories of dates. That's what happens. Let's see what happens when you eat 10,000 calories of dates, which I do on occasion. So we get about 70 grams of carbs, we get a whopping 2.8 kilos of grams of carbohydrates, which is fantastic for just all day, all night stamina. And we only get five grams of fat. Five grams of fat. So when people say you're getting fat from carbohydrates, it obviously mean the fatty carbohydrates. People say, no, no, I'm eating corn chips. I'm eating corn chips. Corn chips are low fat. Okay, let's go to corn chips. Let's get let's get 10,000 calories from corn chips then. We have had 10,000 calories roughly. We're only getting just over a kilo of carbs, so not enough carbs compared to the dates, which were 2.8 kilos. We're getting only 1,200 grams here, but we're getting a whopping 539 grams of fat. So the fat you eat is the fat you wear. Let's go back and check out the dates. 10,000 calories gives us 5 grams of fat. Back to the corn chips, 540 grams of fat. So it would literally take you about 100 days of eating dates to get the same amount of fat you'd get on one day of corn chips. Now people go, I don't eat 10,000 calories a day. Well, I do sometimes, and that's why I can be so lean, because I'm not getting the whopping 540 grams of fat. So let's go back down to more, maybe a more uh, common level, let's say 3,000 calories, which is a, you know, a good starting intake for your calories, but you're only getting 365 grams of carbs there, so your glycogen levels are going to be pretty deficient, but you're getting a whopping amount of fat still. You're getting 164 grams of fat. Now, this is from the corn chips. People say corn chips are carbohydrates, but we look at the little data here, almost 50% of the calories are coming from fat. So you're actually getting more fat than you're getting carbohydrates. See? This is what when people say, oh, I get fat from eating carbohydrates. It's like you're eating corn chips, you're eating Twinkies, you're eating fucking ice cream, you're eating fucking meat lovers pizza, or you're eating vegetarian pizza that's full of cheese, or you're eating a vegan pizza which is full of oil. The fat you eat is the fat you wear effortlessly. Please do not blame the carbohydrate. Now let's go back to potatoes. Let's go to 10,000 cal calories, potatoes, whole potatoes. People say potatoes make you fat. How on earth does a potato make you fat when it's only got 5 grams of for 10,000 calories? Gives you the 2,300 grams of carbs. People go, the carbs get converted to fat. No, they don't. If they did, I'd be obese from all the dates I eat. Dates are sugary, fructose, glucose rich, sugar, 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 sugar. And I'm eating them every day of the year. I'm eating as much fruit and sugar as I want every single meal. I'm not even that active compared to my professional athlete friends that train, you know, 30, 40, 50 hours a week. I'm only, I only train about 10 hours a week. Sure, I'm professionally athletically fit. Very good cardio, VO2 max just on 80, but I do not do a lot of activity. I use my brain more than I use my body. I work about 70 to 80 hours a week behind the computer, sitting on my ass like I am doing right now, and I sit on the bike maybe 7 to 10 hours a week, riding to the shops, riding to the post office, so I'm not a very active person. No one can call me a professional athlete because I do not train like a professional athlete, even though, yeah, I'm really fit. 
but it's for minimal training. It's just from eating a low-fat diet because when you eat low-fat, you have less fat in your bloodstream, gunking your legs up. You have more glycogen in your cells, nourishing your cells with glucose and fructose. The glycogen is what you need. Over 100 trillion cells all need the glucose. Make sure we get enough sugar every day. Obviously, fruit's going to be your best, but whole food carb sources like potatoes are fantastic. Look up Dr. McDougall's work. I'm still a fan of the fruit. Look how little fat that is. Five grams of fat for 10,000 calories. Now, let's go to a a 3,000 calorie day from potatoes. We're getting a good dose of carbs there. That's a good hit of carbs. We're only getting three grams of fat. A measly three grams of fat. You're going to have to add in some lettuce there to get enough fat, to get some omega-3s and stuff like that. Add your lettuce in there. It's ridiculous when people say, potatoes make you fat or corn makes you fat. No, silly. It's the fat we eat is the fat we wear. Let's go back to the dates. 3,000 calories a day. It's 800 grams of carbs. A nice, solid, strong amount of carbohydrates for a high-energy person who wants to live the adventure, passionate lifestyle of purpose, contribution, fun, sun, and adventure. That's a good hit of carbs. 800 grams there. And we only get one gram of fat. So when people say dates make you fat, they're obviously sneaking some nasty shit that they're not proud of. That doesn't make them bad people. Let's just be honest here. Let's just be transparent. If you're getting fat from carbohydrates, you're obviously sneaking or you're obviously adding a lot of fat to your carbohydrates. So there you go. Debunked. So processed foods. The main problem with processed foods is when they get fat added to them. We won't get into the salt and all the fluid retention that salt incurs, but... We'll just focus on fat today because the fat you eat is the fat you wear. So we quickly see that people eating these uh, high-fat diets, 50% calories coming from fat. You're got, your body's going to look like 50% calories coming from fat eventually. People say, but I've got a friend who's doing the paleo primal low-carb diet and they're losing weight or they're really lean. I'm like, they, they might be for today, but you'll see them next week, next month, next year, next decade, whatever. They're going to be obese. They're going to be blowing out. I've got a friend who did the paleo diet. He used to ride bikes like me. 65 kilos, single digit body fat like me, I'm lean, mean all year long, just, you know, single digit body fats all year long, regardless of how much I eat, my friend was the same as me, but he was eating the paleo style, a lot of meat, and now he's 130 kilos, doesn't ride a bike, because when you're 130 kilos, it's pretty hard to ride, be fit, but, and I'm not, he's not 130 kilos of muscle, still a great person, you know, obese now, from, from, can you imagine me obese, the way I could get obese is go on the high fat paleo diet, and that's just going to blow out your kidneys. It's going to increase your chance of arteriosclerosis, hematomacrosis, where you have to get iron taken out of your blood every three months. A lot of paleo primal people get this done. Hematomacrosis, look it up. It's pretty rife in the paleo movement. Arthritis, cancer, stroke, obesity, diabetes type 2, diabetes type 1 from all the, the leukemia bovine virus in the cow's milk today. The raw organic milk is full of bovine leukemia virus. It's full of bovine lungworm. It's full of bovine AIDS virus. Do you want AIDS virus with your paleo diet? I don't personally. So it's all about getting the carbohydrates in. Whole food sources are your best bet. Fruit's the king and queen of the plant kingdom. So heat your fruit up. Failing that, your potatoes and your corn without the oil added to them is going to be your next best option. So hopefully that clarifies any myths out there that carbohydrates make you fat. Because in actual fact, it's the fucking Twinkies, corn chips, meat lovers, pizza or cheese sandwiches that people eat. It's the fat you eat with your carbohydrates that makes you fat. Otherwise, if you eat low-fat, high-carb, you look like me, you look lean, mean, look like Freely, you look like all the other low-fat, high-carb athletes and just sedentary people out there. You go to Kenya, the marathon runners look the same as the school teachers. Why? Because they're eating the same diet. The marathon runners are running 100 miles a week. The school teachers can't even run around the block, but they're still lean and slim because they eat low-fat all year round. Same in Thailand. Go watch the people picking rice or collecting the rubber from the rubber trees. They just walk around. They're not athletes. They're not running around. They're just like... Walking around the field, they're not even, they're just eating high carb, low fat, year round, for decades, it makes you lean 100%. I'll give you $10,000 if you can show me a fat person on carbohydrates, I mean fat, Google up, fat person, you show me who that person is in Google, who's eating a high carb, low fat, vegan, raw food, fruit based, or a potato based even, lifestyle long term, you show me, exactly, it's all bullshit, thanks for watching, share this video with people who say cars make you fat. And I'll see you soon. Cheers.